Hello, my wealthy wives and friends. This is Ms. Sophia, <clears throat> excuse me, author of Wealthy Wife, Meeting, Dating, and Man Rich Man, as well as the founder of the Wealthy Academy, and of course, your godmother of affluent romance. How are you doing, wealthy wives and friends? All right, I hope you've been enjoying the nuggets and tidbits I've been sharing through these past few days. And if you're not following me on the Instagram, on my Wealthy Wife Academy Instagram page, go ahead and, you know, click over there and, and follow. I've been actually putting together like little mini uh, mantras that you guys can do to help reset your mindset and get you into a place of peace and, you know, really been able to just relax and be in energy and the flow of living your life in a very peaceful yet powerful way. And before I go into today's topic, I'm actually going to talk about private tutoring today because I realize I don't really tell you guys much about the private tutoring that I offer. And hear me, non-intentional on my part, just simply, I, it's just something that I do. So I will tell you more about it today. But I want to remind you guys that today and tomorrow are the last days you can enroll into the Creating a Soft Life, a Wealthy Wife and be included in the free Zoom call that I'm going to do as an additional bonus gift to this course. I'm going to be doing it sometime next month. It'll be a sat it'll either be the second or third Saturday of June. I'm not sure which one just yet. I need to look at my calendar. But if you haven't enrolled yet in the Creating a Soft Life by Wealthy Wife Masterclass, it's an online masterclass. It's self-paced. It's a blast. It really is something that's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and really do a life review. And do it in a way that, once again, well, it may piss you off initially when you realize how much of your power you're giving away to other people and why some of the anxiety and stress that you hold in your body and your mind and your emotions and mental state of being are caused by allowing other people to interfere with your truth. Once again, so often we give away our power to the people because you're taught that you don't know anything. For the most part, you're taught you're, you're, you're just you're clueless, which isn't entirely untrue. So this masterclass really is going to give you an opportunity to reevaluate evaluate, possibly reevaluate your life and really begin to put you in a position to live what they call the soft life. And a soft life, once again, is truly about you reclaiming your mental state, emotional state, spiritual, physical, as well as your financial state of being. Because I'll say this again, as a woman, we don't have to hustle and grind for money. We, 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 I, I, I'm living proof we don't, okay? Not even cause doesn't even, I've tried in the past because it, it's just so upsetting to your our nervous system as a woman. We have we must do action steps. Action steps and learning and mastery are all part of the process, but there's just a different way we go about it as a woman, and it always comes from first knowing self and knowing what it actually means to be a woman, knowing what it means to actually move in the space of feminine energy, because once again, it's an experience, not just bits and pieces. It's the whole essence of you as a, as a woman. So if you if you have enrolled in the masterclass, once again, thank you, because I know I'm loving it. I, I see it, touch emails come in every time somebody enrolls. So I see when I check my emails, who's enrolled. And I love that it's a combination of established God daughters, my alum, alumni, as well as new ladies coming into the wealthy wife world for the first time. So thank you. Once again, if you have not enrolled yet, get yourselves enrolled. This is, like I said, this one has a very, very special tuition. Very, that I'm doing just for this class. I'm telling you right now, don't look for this tuition in an additional class because I sincerely doubt I'm going to do it again for this particular, um, especially this low of a tuition. I seriously doubt that I'll do it again. But I wanted to do something really special for you guys because it has been kind of challenging the past couple of years. So this is something special I'm doing for all of you. But get yourselves enrolled. That way you can be included in the Zoom call next month. And I'm looking forward to the Zoom call because once I always love the Zoom calls because it gives me a chance to see my goddaughters, new ones, established ones, whatever. And this one's going to be so great because you have a chance to once again come together and meet each other for those who don't know each other and for those who haven't seen each other in a while that may be once again established goddaughters. So click on the, uh, the, the uh, link in the description and get yourselves enrolled. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about private tutoring. And what made this come to mind again was I got an email from one of my ladies, one of my goddaughters I'm currently working with. Um, I always have several private clients I'm working with at any given time. Depend, you know, and it's this the programs tend to go for a few several mm, several weeks, sometimes a few months, depending on what we're, we're working on. So I received the email last night, which I've got to read through it again from a goddaughter that I'm working with, who actually just 
went through the whole process of working out, um, what do we call it? I guess an arrangement with a gentleman. And it's quite lovely how all of it works together because if you've been listening to my YouTube videos for a while, for those of you that are brand new to my, my YouTube channel here, once again, thank you for joining us here at the Wealthy Wife family here on my Miss Sophia um, YouTube channel. I appreciate you being here. And for those of you that are established, you already know this. When I work with women, I work with you in all aspects of being in the world of affluent, rich, and wealthy dating. One comes in you first learning self. Because I'll say this again, in this lifestyle, if you don't know you, it's easy to be led astray. Because the money, the goodies, the luxury, the this, the that, can be very, very tempting if you're somebody who's never experienced it. If you've known a life of struggle and hustle and grind and having to really work hard or, you know, some sort of lack in your life, it becomes very intriguing and enticing when you're in a space where somebody's actually pouring into you financially. And so many times, those of you that are doing it, you get shortchanged. I'm going to explain that in a second. But it's a lifestyle that you really, really must know your worth. You have to, if you're going to do it successfully and really thrive and avoid some of the pitfalls that can come along with it if you haven't learned how to maneuver through it. It's a beautiful way to live life. It's a wonderful way to experience life, especially when you're involved with men who have, who have access to the resources that can really elevate you. Because there's a way to speak to them. There's a way to negotiate with them. There's a, there's a whole process, my dears, that go into this. So, and she's going to listen to this. I, I never give names. I never give exact situations of the goddaughters. Because once again, this is all confidential. But she'll listen to the audio uh, later on today, I'm sure. But I'm so proud of her, which I'm going to respond to her email here shortly. I'm so proud of her because she is someone I've been working with on and off for the past couple of years, past, past couple of years. And watching her come into the Wealthy Wife fam and come into working with me, beautiful, brilliant, you know, but everyone comes in with some level of work needing to be done in reference to the self-discovery and the self-confidence. Because once again, if you're unaccustomed to being around men with money and knowing how to be present with them, hold your ground, speak your truth, ask for what you desire, you know, know how to negotiate. It can be intimidating because once again, these men are masters at psychology and, and negotiation. They have to be. You do not become truly successful if you have no idea, first, how people function and two, how the energy of money functions and also having that determination to thrive and succeed. These men are ruthless, just so you know. They are. They don't always show it because the wise ones just don't. Not to the people that they care about, but if you were to catch them in the business world, they are ruthless you have to be they have to be and to me that's very fascinating because once again being in a space where I deal with experience and spend time with truly affluent men and I've been doing this for decades ladies this is not something new for me you know I didn't get on the bandwagon of the sugar baby sugar daddy thing back in the day honey I've been on that wagon and I've been I've been on the train the plane the bus whatever for decades I came into it as sugar baby just so you know back in the day when it wasn't all over media. Because once again, sugar babies and mistresses are nothing new. They've been around since the beginning of time. Um, but that's how I came into it, just so you know. So when I talk about these men, like I said, I've been, they've been a part of my life for many, many years. Friendships, relationships, acquaintanceships, whatever. I've known them for many, many years. And I love the fact that when I have a chance to sit and talk with them or be present with them, because like I told you guys, I collect big brothers that's just the best way i can describe the men in my life at times i or they collect me i don't know how that works <laughs> but i'm always surrounded by really great men um and they're at ease with me because once again i am a safe haven for men i love men i've said this before i love them so when they get to know me and they're comfortable with me then they have, I have a chance to be present in conversations that the majority of women are never going to hear mm-hmm and because I have no issues asking questions and getting, you know, answers back, because I'll say this again, ladies, when I bring information to you, it's not hearsay. It's not a woman's opinion. It's not me talking to a bunch of women saying, well, what do you think men do when they do this or when this happens? No, I go to them. I always go to men to ask my questions. And I've been doing this for decades. I have literally talked to thousands upon thousands upon thousands of men. No exaggeration. This is the truth. 
I want their opinion. I don't want to speculate. I want to know. So when I, when I have a chance to speak with them, and I think in terms of their particular needs and how they move through the world, and I'll say it again, in business, they're ruthless. And also when it comes to figuring out their, even their personal relationships, romantic relationships, they love when a woman can actually hold her own, not have an attitude and be an aggressive per se, but when a woman moves in that space of feminine grace and ease, I discuss so often. It intrigues them. And this particular goddaughter I'm thinking about, you know, she is the epitome. As she has grown and, like I said, worked together on and off for the past couple of years and working together privately now and watching her transition because I know how her energy was when she came in and worked with me initially and watching her flourish and thrive and finally be in a position to own and know herself and finally and she's going to laugh when they say this and finally realize why i've been saying what i've been saying for so long because i knew she belonged where she currently is energetically and on the level of receiving that she's doing now i know she's always belonged in that particular space but when you don't initially feel good about yourself and you allow other people's opinions and energies and everything else intertwine with you it becomes problematic but until you finally allow yourself to be set free and then also know where you want to, where how you want to move in this world of affluent, rich, and wealthy dating. Do you desire to be the sugar baby? I help my goddaughters work on those negotiations, just so you know. I have a whole process that I teach on how to actually negotiate allowances. And thus far, their allowances have been wow. Seriously. I'm not going to talk about the amount here because once again, I'm not going to those kind of details on a public platform on it, you know, in a way that's going to be out here forever and ever and ever. No, but I'm just going to say this. Uh, wow. But once again, I know how to negotiate because we talk about the type of man or the men that they're dealing with when it comes to these negotiations. Mistresses. If a woman is interested in being a mistress, now I'm not talking about the BDSM one at the moment. I can teach that as well because once again, background. But if a woman is, if a man is approaching a woman to be his mistress, for those of you who get squirrely or squeamish about that, hear me. In the world of affluent, rich, and wealthy dating, these are real things that happen. Now, this is not about having a moral compass. These are just things that happen in the world of affluent, rich, and wealthy dating. Mistresses have been a part of the process for, once again, since the beginning of time. And wives tend to know about the husband's mistress. Not every single one knows. But a chunk do know because it's part of their marriage agreements because so often they're coming together as a business partnership as opposed to a love match. Now, there are more little more love matches going on nowadays, but still, even behind the scenes of marriages that go on today, they're still business partnerships. So they will sit down and have conversations based upon, you know, okay, so what are we going to do? All right, we're going to come together and produce that air and spirit, so to speak, have a couple babies. Uh, and after that, I don't want anything else to do with you intimately like that, physical intimacy. They will establish the fact that she will have her lovers and he will have his mistress or mistresses. These are real things. I work with women in reference to that space too, because where women get pissed off when they're involved with a married man, and once again, this is in an arrangement where they, it's agreed upon, okay? Where women get pissed off in those movements and, and get themselves in trouble is you don't come in negotiating. You do not come in under an agreement. If this is something that is established in that marriage, the man has done this before. He has, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's going to offer. He's waiting for you to come back and counter. Remember, when I talk to you guys here, I'm giving you a glimpse of what goes on in the real world. Not just, once again, people getting on it all. Oh, I can't believe this has nothing to do with you. This is, I'm going with the facts that take place in our world. And if you're going to participate and be honest as to what you desire, I can definitely help move you through the process. I work with women in that space. For those of you that do desire to become wives, the trophy wife, the wealthy wife, the spoiled girlfriend, whatever. We work on those two. Once again, I've been at this for a very long time. I love what I do. So in private tutoring, those are things we work on. But it always starts with the base of you learning who you are. Because some women I work with, initially, they're not looking to start to do dating. They're looking to learn who they are. How do they show up? What garbage do we need to pull out of their system, so to speak? What, do we, what does she need to unlearn? And finally, allow herself to pursue what she does desire. 
and hear me, I've mentioned this in my book, Wealthy Wife, Meeting, Dating, and Marrying a Rich Man. Once you decide to really live in your truth, people are going to be mad at you. They're going to get pissed off at you and understand that's their problem, not yours. There's no, what, you don't, there's no need to suffer and struggle. If you really, really know that you can come into a relationship with an affluent, rich, and wealthy man as a true asset, not just saying I'm an asset because you're a woman, there's more to it. It is about your emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual state of being. Are you able to be the safe haven for him? Can you bring him, offer him peace of mind? Because uh, we can't give anybody anything. They have to be willing to participate as well. But are you in a place of peace? Do you have great communication skills? Because most women do not. Most men do not, unfortunately, either. But I'm talking at a level of, of success where a man must have great communication skills. And is looking for a woman who also understands how to speak with clarity, with confidence, knows how to sit back and, and, and has that, that discernment I've been talking about, knows how to take the time out to learn him. Because some of you want to go out here and do things with men and you're trying to, it's, it's like it was a one size fit all process. It's not. You're dealing with each man you meet, each person you meet is an individual. Now there may be some commonalities, but for the most part, they're all very, very different because each person has their own background, experience, cultural experiences, spiritual experiences, life experiences, monetary experiences. Everyone is different. You must take the time out to learn. You must have patience in this lifestyle if you're going to really thrive. Yes, you do. And these are things that I work on in a private tutoring. And like I said, my client base are predominantly melanated women, beautifully brown skinned, very shades of brown skinned women. I do have those that are non-melanated that I work with as well. But you have to have the right headspace to work with me. Because I'll say this again, especially for private tutoring, I'm not taking everybody on as a client. I know the energy that I need you to have to work with me and vice versa. Because first and foremost is this, I need you to be willing to listen and follow the guidelines that I offer you. Because I have to laugh sometimes. And these are people I have not taken on as clients. People want to debate me. I'm like, how are you going to tell me that I'm wrong when I've, I live? I've had plenty of experience living what I teach. Um, as I now reset my life to decide what I want to do next. And I love this, by the way. I, I, I love this. I love, you know, as I sit down, and because once again, where I'm currently located is a transition spot for me. As I'm looking around now that things are finally not as chaotic and weird as they've been for the past couple of years, and I decide my next steps. Where do I want to play? What do I want to do? Who am I looking to meet? Once again, I walk the talk. I'm not just telling you guys. I also do this. So when anyone has come in an interview and they want to debate me, I'm like, you can't debate me on what I know works. Is what you're doing working? Yes or no? Obviously not. You would be on the phone in this conversation with me. So I do need you to be in a position where you're ready to do the work and learn. Be open-minded because I promise you I'm going to share things with you that are going to have you sit back going, what? I didn't know this. Of course you didn't know it. It's not taught. To date athlete, rich, and wealthy men, for the most part, a woman who wants to do this, you're called a gold digger by those who do not have the money, the monetary ability to support or to pour into or to build with a woman who has the headspace where she could actually build with this man. A wise man, rich men, wealthy men, wise, rich, and wealthy men know the value of a great woman. They know. They know, like I said, are there some of them out there that are still like have you know mommy issues and daddy issues and have mental issues and whatever emotional issues? Of course, they're people. But the ones that have actually mastered self, they're low key, by the way. Most of them are really, really low key. And some of the ones that appear to be more outgoing, that's because it's a facade they use to once again learn and test the people in front of them. These men are wise men. And when they run across a woman who really adds to them, who really brings out something in them that nobody else has been able to tap into, they will give you the world. But you need to understand and know how to ask for the world. And then be prepared to do negotiations because here's the deal. They love to negotiate. They're businessmen. That's not going to change. And in those, con those conversations and negotiation, it is a dance. And I guess that's why I, like, I enjoy it so much. It is a dance. 
So you're learning communication skills with me. You're building out your self-confidence with me. We're talking about what's again your persona. What version of the muse are you? Which I've got to talk about. The, I keep forgetting to talk about the archetypes. I'll do that this week. <laughs> but who are you? I go back to the questions all the time. The wealthy wife three. Who are you? What do you desire in your whys? And this is so crazy awesome important in this lifestyle because if you're chasing after somebody else's life and you haven't figured out what you desire and you want you think you want a man like a woman because once again social media shows you guys lots of pretty pictures and lots of really cool stuff and lots of concepts and possibilities but it doesn't give you the backstory unless you know someone in their lifestyle you really don't know the backstory it may look pretty on the gram but would you really want to live the life she's living to maintain that which she what she has some of them have great great guys some of them do some of them i'll say it again do not i know people who are with men who do post on the gram i do know several people that post on there and a few of them i know for a fact the person they're involved with is not a great person he's not the man they're involved with is not very controlling um very very controlling some people like that you have women who are actually are, are masochists and they love that kind of domination that kind of have that like that man like a man who's got that kind of sadistic personality once again there's someone for everyone but most of us are we're not masochists emotional masochists so we're not looking for a man who is going to basically make you feel like shit and unworthy and just basically let you know that if you don't do it what he wants you basically get nothing that exists out there it exists with, in relationships with no money, but it can really exist in relationships with money. So once again, it's about you knowing yourself and knowing how to select the type of energy within a man that's going to match up to your particular needs and desires as well. So when you're looking at these pictures and you're, you know, some people are coveted, coveting or, loving or, or envying these lifestyles, you once again pull back. It's okay to appreciate what she has. It's wonderful to appreciate the pictures, but pull back. You do not know what goes on behind the scenes for real. So that's why it's important that you discover self and then sit here and really think about what you desire in your wise. Do you take the time out to study affluent with your wealthy man? I mean, seriously. Yeah, that's a legit thing. Do you take the time out to study? I have I ask these questions so often when I'm working with women. They can be in live master classes, but especially when it comes down to the private tutoring. Who do you admire and why? Because once again, if you have no starting point, you are never going to be able to move forward. It's not possible. Because you're always going to be bobbing back and forth and, well, I kind of hear it. Well, that looks kind of good. And maybe, no. You will run yourself in circles, make yourself tired, wear yourself out and quit. <laughs> be like, I'm exhausted. Oh, my God. No. Okay. You. This is strategy. Ladies, we are the masters of strategy. We really are. Remember the artist seduction? <clears throat> Excuse me. Most have read the book by Robert Greene, who I adore. Robert Greene. Oh my God, I love his stuff. But even he talks about it in the artist seduction, the beginning of artist seduction. Seduction was a woman. One second. I have got my throat is dry. Give me just a second. I got need to take a sip of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I'm telling you, living in the desert is something special. Okay, now I can continue. But even Robert Greene tells you at the beginning of his book, Art of Seduction, that seduction, men learn the art of seduction from watching women. Seduction is a woman's art. Now, men have taken it and grown and blown it out and, you know, have a, a level of and type of seduction that is definitely built out of the masculine. But they learn the skill sets initially by watching us. Because as women... I say it again, we're never going to outpower a man. I don't care how many, how much steroids you take. I don't care how heavy the weights you lift. I don't care what you do to your body as a woman. His frame is always stronger than our frame. There's always going to be a man bigger and stronger than us. Now, you ever to take us on the smaller ones that don't train, weight train? Possible. But a man who actually is also in the same, you know, doing the same thing you're doing, you're never going to be able to be physically stronger than a man. We're not built to be physically stronger than them. We're not supposed to be. We're not. So we had to go into reference to being in that space of understanding the mental side, emotional side, and spiritual side of things. And thus, we learned 
how to seduce. We learned how to utilize the energies that are very persuasive. That's mastery, ladies and gentlemen who are listening. That's mastery. And when it's done correctly, there's no manipulation. Definitely persuasive. Well, maybe a smidgen of manipulation. That depends on the person and the headspace. I prefer to avoid manipulation because manipulation is short-term gain that if done incorrectly can wind up being harmful to you as well as a person. So I'm all about no new karma, okay? Very, very conscious of what's being done and how I teach and what I share. But it is about being persuasive, being charismatic and magnetic. So this is something that you learn. This is an art. So these are some of the things I actually teach in the private tutoring. It's powerful, to put it mildly. And the skill sets you learn are not just about what you're going to learn in reference to attracting, you know, a rich or wealthy man. But it's also about how you move in your world altogether. How this will this will change your life personally, romantically, professionally, because I'm teaching you life skills. These are not just skills just to attract rich men or wealthy men or just a rich lifestyle. It's really about you learning how to become your best self. The muse. I talk about the muse all the time. It is about you taking yourself and raising to a higher elevation. To take yourself and vibrationally put yourself into a whole new energy sphere. And then being able to utilize that space. Know how to call to you what you desire. I was listening to Bob Proctor last night. Love me some Bob Proctor. Oh my gosh, I'd love listening to him. He's such a, such a, I would love to meet him. I mean, I realize he's like, what, 90 something years old now? Um, but I would love to meet him because I love his energy. But he was talking about the law of vibration. And there are many universal laws, just so you know. But he was discussing the law of vibration because I'm almost caught up on the law of attraction. And he's right. Attract us because everybody's talking about the law of attraction. The law of attraction, attract, attract. But here's the kicker, and he said it best the law of vibration comes first. Because how you vibrate is going to determine what you attract. So, yeah, law of attraction does work, but if you're not, but if you're thinking you want, you know, this higher level of living, you know, more money, more luxurious life experiences, whatever, and your mindset and vibration are still stuck in the hustle and struggle side of things, the hustle and bustle and oh, life is hard. And uh, if you're still sitting there, your vibration is going to bring you more of that struggle as opposed to bringing you more of the higher version of life you're, you're, you're talking about. Because your energy is not matching up to that higher experience. So law of vibration does come first. He's very correct on that. These are things we work on here. This is a very, well, you listen to my YouTube videos. You already know I go deep. The only way to live life is to understand things. So that you get to a point where it becomes understanding than the overstanding. Life is a beautiful experience. It's constant learning. It is a journey. And my goal is to assist you so that you're on the path that really, really excites you in the most positive, happy, healthy, loving, prosperous ways. And to do it if you choose with the right partnerships. That can be romantic. That can be friendships. Eventually the right, you know, women friends come along because on this journey, it's cutthroat. It can be until you finally once again learn who you are. And then in due time, you'll meet women who actually will appreciate you and you'll appreciate them and build out great friendships. I have them. I told you, I talked to my sisters. I've got three women that I've known, oh God, for a while. I've got a couple I've known like literally since college. Love them dearly, but we're not super, super close because we just, we just not, we're not. We just kind of, we're close, but not that kind of friendship that we had back in the day. But I have three women that are my, call my sisters. And then even in the goddaughters, I had a chance to meet some women who are just, you know, we just click very well. You will meet your tribe, is what I'm trying to say. But once again, you're going to be learning how to be present with the type of men that actually add to your life and you add to theirs. This is a beautiful experience, ladies and gentlemen who are listening as well, because there comes a time, and I do want to start working with men. That's something I want to put out there and start doing probably toward the end of this year. I've worked with men in the past and I kind of got away from it, but I want to get back into it because there are some really great men out there that I would love to cultivate to make it possible for them to finally be ready to receive their person. 
So if you're looking to just work on self, I appreciate that. We can do it. But when my ladies finally figure out that they're finally ready to get out there and meet somebody, they're well equipped to know who they're attracting and who they need to release. Because initially they're going to be attracting people that are going to come with a bunch of different personality traits, some things that are from your past, just to double check energetically if you're ready to let that go. And then you just, it becomes easier. It just does. Because now you're speaking your truth. And now that you've risen, you've risen, listen, you've raised, oh, perfect English here, right? You've raised your vibration. You now can be at a level of attraction where you're calling into you and receiving the things that are in an elevated state of being and living. And you're there and you feel really, really great. You're not feeling like, well, I'm not sure I belong or, oh my God, I'm so nervous. No, you know you are where you're supposed to be. So there will be no self-sabotaging, no crazy, crazy stuff that's going to happen to drop you back to a lower vibration. You will be moving in the energy of knowing. So that's a little bit about the private tutoring. Like I said, it's a wonderful, wonderful way to connect back to your truth. It's a wonderful way to make certain that the luxurious lifestyle that you're calling into you is authentic to your needs and desires. It's very helpful, once again, we start talking about men, because we do discuss men in this process, absolutely, that you have more clarity around who it is you desire to attract, and who you're, once again, and also the qualities that you have no desire to experience ever again. The more you learn you, the more you know about you, the less aggravation you're going to receive in your life. It's facts. Because it always comes back to us. It's us. Every time you circle back from something that's happened, guess who's always there to meet you again? You. <laughs> it's a fact of life. We are the foundation of everything we do. Um, I'm helping you to reconstruct your foundation. So if you're interested in the private tutoring, once again, feel free to click on the link. I have openings available. I've got some of my coaching. Um, the tutoring is coming to an end, even though so I shouldn't say that because I do do retainers as well. So sometimes we just, they come out of the private tutoring and they hire me on retainer to stay with them to learn out, to continue learning what they're learning. But at the moment, I do have some openings. I guess I've got some additional time to open up that I'm looking for a handful of really great women to bring into the Wealthy Wife family as a private client. If this sounds like you, and I'm going to say it again, this is going to be an investment in you because we're working on changing life skills. We're working on really elevating you into the woman that you were here to be. And that may take us a moment to uncover initially. But once you figure it out, oh my gosh, it's going to shock you, beautifully shock you. So if you're interested, go ahead and click on the button in the description. Uh, there's a link there for the private tutoring to schedule interview. There is a questionnaire to have you guys fill out prior to. And we'll go from there. So hopefully that answers some questions you guys may have about private tutoring. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.